Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining me for another episode of my Manchester United career on FIFA 20. Uh, we have some big games coming up in the next three. We start here though at Old Trafford in the Premier League against Wolves. Manchester United, well, we haven't looked too good recently. A mixed bag of results and we currently sit just outside of, uh, well, a Europa League spot for next season. It's crazy, but... Today's game sees the debut of our new signing, Christoph Kramer. He starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. Bruno Fernandes also starts. Let's see what Wolves are made of then here today. Paul Pogba wins the ball back. Bit of room here for Rashford to run into. That's a bit of skill. Rashford finds Pogba. Oh, there we go, 1-0. As cool as you like. Great incisive attack from Manchester United carving that back five of Wolves apart which uh, as of late always seems so difficult to break down they sat so deep there putting pressure on their own goalkeeper just allowed that gap to open up for Paul Pogba to slot it in need to double our lead if we can head it away Pogba wins it back it's Bruno Fernandes good effort on goal Patricio down to it quickly, annoyed with his defence, and rightly so, no challenge made, and Bruno Fernandes, you just can't allow him a sniff on goal. Here is Pogba again, Pogba and Fernandes working wonders at the moment, in the field, Fernandes, straight at Patricio again, we're making him work here today, which is good. Diego Jota, Raul Jimenez, Jota again, Linetti, Jota, Linetti again, <laughs> Challenge made and it's fallen for Jota who's absolutely pulled that into the back of the net. It's one all and he's going to go over and celebrate with his manager. You can see how much it means to him. That goal. Wolves on their way back. They're back in this game anyway. Challenge made by Maguire and it just falls for Jota. Perfect place. Perfect timing. De Gea even got a touch to that. Should be doing a bit better I suppose. Here is Rashford again. Look at that back five of Wolves. Space for Kramer. It's Pogba. Nice little lay off there from Kramer to find Pogba. And he hits that with such venom. Great first touch. Sets it up nicely for himself. And it's definitely on target that. Here come Wolves again. Diogo Jota through ball to Raul Jimenez. He's gone for goal. Tight angle. De Gea saves. Wolves are going to take this corner then. Fernandez has gone off to be replaced by James Madison. It's in and it's 2-1. Wolves have well and truly turned this game around on its head. And they find themselves in the lead here at Old Trafford. Their manager on the, uh, on the pitch here celebrating. It means that much to him. And it is that man again, Diogo Jota, with the goal. Again, right place, right time. Just falls for him, hits it first time. Short on the back post. Not sure what he's doing, to be honest. He's just stood there. He's watching it. Martial. Can we get an equaliser? Can we use that kickoff advantage? Martial going to go all the way here. Martial. Falling for Pogba. There we go. Two all and there's time to go on and get a winner here now. Good finish from Pogba. Hit first time on the volley. That'll do. Linity. Linity again. Raul Jimenez. Is it Maguire? What's Maguire? What am I doing with Maguire? He's fallen all over the place. He's had a really terrible game here today. It fell for Raul Jimenez again. And he's put it past De Gea. And that is the game. Yeah, it's all over. Really, really disappointing performance. Yeah, we managed to score two goals through that man, Paul Pogba. Just not, not enough really, not good enough. And Wolves, well and truly using that kickoff advantage. And something clicked in Wolves today. Every time we uh, we would score a goal, they just bounce back, and well, they've got the three points. Really disappointing. And up next, we've got the trip to Chelsea, and we have just been drawn against Wolves again, but in the FA Cup. Is that home or is that away? It's going to be at the Molyneux. Even trickier of a game that in the FA Cup as well. 
So here's the league table then after that loss to, to Wolves, who are currently in 8th. We're now down in 6th with 25 games played. Level on points with West Ham, so there's a consolation there, I suppose. But 5th place, it really isn't good enough for uh, a team like Manchester United. And well, then press conference heading into our next game in the Premier League. Chelsea, a team that are sitting in fourth, need to be closing that gap. It's been months since we've seen any goals come from Rashford. No, it hasn't. I'm pretty sure he scored just uh, an episode or so ago. He understands what he has to do. I'm sure we're, uh, we'll get the best out of Rashford, no doubt, in this series to come. I'm not worried about his uh, his performances at the moment. He's been brilliant, as I've already mentioned. Uh, we haven't won in our last five. Is that true? If so, that is that is disappointing. Prefer not to get into those mind games. We can win today. Got to keep that team morale up, I suppose. But does it have an effect on the uh, the team morale on uh, on FIFA? I know it does on games like Football Manager and and Pairs, but I don't think it does on FIFA. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that, but. Are we prepared for the next match yet? Yeah. We've done everything we could to ensure we're in peak form for this match. Let's go and take it to Chelsea. We need to beat them. We need those three points. We need to right close guys, the gap on them. Thank you for joining us. If we want any chance of getting Champions League next season. There we go. The shed ends. We're here at Stamford Bridge for Chelsea against Manchester United. It's been a good place to come for Manchester United in recent years. But look at that. Chelsea, the best defensive side so far alongside Liverpool in the league. And it's all thanks to these men, Kimpembe, who I'm not sure if they signed him in the summer, alongside Rudiger. Our attackers going to have their work cut out today. Looking at the Chelsea team then, Kepper in goal, Zappacosta, Kimpembe, Rudiger and Wendell as the back four, Kovacic, Kante and Jorginho make up the midfield of three. And look at that, Chelsea have re-signed Diego Costa. He starts... Oh, it's been a thorn in my side, that one. I've gone with a change of formation for this game. I feel as though we need to freshen things up slightly. So a 4-4-2 diamond or a 4-1-2-1-2. Scott McTominay in that CDM role. James and Pogba in the field with Bruno Fernandes in the number 10. And the front two of Martial and Marcus Rashford. Let's see what this brings today. Brandon Williams starts. He has been impressive in the games that he's featured in so far this season. But N'Golo Kante's found a way through that back four. And Maguire, I think, got a, a crucial touch to that then. We really need to win this game here today. We're sitting in sixth at the moment. 25 games gone. And Bruno Fernandes is in. Back into square it for Rashford. It's just not working for us at the moment. Back and forth, though. Here is... Sooner. Oh, no, 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 no. No, my defending shoddy there. Thankfully, we have De Gea in goal. Defending was poor and it's fallen for Rashford. We might have been gifted something here. Marcus Rashford bearing down upon goal. Finds Pogba. Pogba finds Martial. Gole Kante pulling all the strings. But you know what? Williams is at left back today. He's done really well there. Wins the, the ball. Keeps it alive and... Here comes Rashford. What can we do? Squares it. No, oh, Rudiger steps in the way. Loose ball picked up by Brandon Williams, but it's going to come to nothing yet. Diego Costa, Suna. Wambasaka misses the challenger, Suna. Oh, no. Poor defending. I hate it. And De Gea again. Coming to the rescue. Oh, my word. It's just one of those games. It's back and forth here at the moment. And it's still nil-nil. So many chances. Oh, James has done. Rudiger there. Come on. Can it be? No. Kepa denies Anthony Martial of a potential winner. 70 minutes on the clock. Look at that. Kovacic. Pedro back to Kovacic in space. Finds himself. Works himself that pocket of space. What am I doing with Maguire? I'm all over the place. All over the place with Maguire. He needs to get back into position. He's not, and it's Costa a goal. It's Diego Costa as well. Who's got probably the winner. Do they deserve it? No, I don't think so. I think we've just edged this game in possession in the, in the amount of chances that we've had on target. 
and Chelsea just come up with that it's been another collapse here Chelsea they've beaten us for the first time this season in front of their home fans and it's such a vital three points for them I think our chances of getting top four now are pretty much over I think if we want any chance of reaching the Champions League next season our only chance now is to go and win the Europa League if Chelsea beating us isn't enough at Stamford Bridge they've now come in and paid Pereira's release fee they're going to sign him for 20.7 mil in the summer so next we've got Wolfsburg in the first leg of the uh, the Europa League knockout stages let's see how they're getting on in the Bundesliga where are they there they are down in sixth exact same position as Manchester United in the Premier League will this game be an evenly matched fixture then at least we have that um, away advantage in the first leg we've really got to pull ourselves together and get a result here look at our last couple of fixtures we lost to Chelsea just then we lost to Wolves at Old Trafford yeah we beat uh, Bristol in the FA Cup but we drew to Burnley and then we lost to Liverpool at Anfield so yeah we, we haven't won a game in five in the Premier League here we go then we're here to take on Wolfsburg in the Europa League first leg of the round of 32 and I have made a few changes for this game all league form I'm hoping goes out the window for such a, a big game there is Christoph Kramer probably shouldn't be starting this game if he's uh, I mean in real life he wouldn't be if he's cup tied but he starts tonight against a team I'm sure he knows a lot about in his time in the Bundesliga and there are the Wolfsburg players highly anticipated for this match against Manchester United so let's have a look at the team then so I've put Ramiro in goal Bay comes back into the uh, the starting lineup. We've got Kramer and Pogba in midfield with Fernandez, Rashford, James, and Anthony Martial keeping hold of their first team spots. Wambasaka putting a bit of pressure on here. It's looking good at the moment. Pogba hits it first time. It's comfortable for the keeper. We're looking for that curler there. James has done well. Skips past his man. Back to Wambasaka. Hits it. How is the keeper saving that? Kramer to Fernandez. We're dominating at the moment. No, it's only nine minutes in. Pogba hits it. I thought for a second it was going to find the bottom corner there. James again. Seen a lot of the action tonight. Martial. Referee. Penalty, surely. Didn't look like he got the ball. Fernandez to Kramer. Fernandez again. Space is opening up here. Fernandez. Go on. Oh, again. Keeper denies us. Pogba. Kramer. Rashford. Oh! Again, this keeper. Who is he? Seriously. Save after save. That was a typical Rashford shot, that. Oh, no. They're going to get something here, aren't they? Maguire. Heads it away. Pogba. Kramer. Bruno Fernandes, it's Pogba again. He's worked away in and he's finally got that goal that we needed. The away goal for Manchester United. It's 1-0 here in Germany. Pogba on his left. No question about it. Finally. We find a way past that keeper. Let's double our lead. Come on. We need that second Rashford. Well worked. It's Pogba. Needs a bit more power behind it. It's just Paul Pogba's goal that separates both Wolfsburg and Manchester United heading into the second leg of the Europa League round of 32. Advantage Manchester United. Things are looking good. And with that, it's going to be the end of this episode. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. Do join me for the next one as we find out whether we can reach the next stage of the Europa League. But for now, thanks for watching.